going on YouTube and welcome back to Redland Revs. Today what I'm going to be doing is going through this light on my dash. I've got a light there, engine management light, let me just turn it on to let you see that. Um, so let's plug in the good old uh, fault code reader. The DB2 port is down here in these and then that should fire up. We take a look at what the code is. So VW Audi, engine, okay let's read the codes. Right so uh, we've got two codes showing. The first of these is uh, 17524 um, or P1116 and that's the lambda sensor, the O2 sensor, B1S1 open circuit and the next one is uh, oxygen lambda sensor B1S1 performance too low, that's P1103 or 17511 in uh, VW code speak. Um, so that B1S1 actually signifies the pre-catalytic converter um, lambda sensor. That's an, it's a probe that basically goes in the exhaust just uh, at the top of it, at the front. Um, and uh, what that basically does is um, detects the level of O2 of oxygen in your exhaust gases and then accordingly um, informs the ECU in terms of how it should regulate the air fuel mixture. Um, and if it's out you could have a loss of power um, all sorts of other symptoms and also the car could be using fuel more quick, quickly and I feel like mine certainly has been doing that. So uh, I've got a replacement, let's go and take a look at that quickly. So I've got the replacement unit here, uh, this is a Bosch unit. Now I had a few options, I called TPS and the original VW units were like £180 plus VAT. Uh, and then I looked on Euro car parts and they had two options for my car for the front pre-cat. And lambda sensor and one of those options were uh, Bosch one which was 140 pounds and then there was another option for a kind of cheaper piece which was uh, 90 pounds. Now Eurocar Parts actually had an offer on this weekend so I used the discount code from the website and I ended up getting the Bosch for 90 pounds uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. I did have the option also of getting a second-hand um, lambda sensor but I didn't want to do that because if you think about where it is and what it does uh, then it's probably better off just getting a new one because it always has hot gases, exhaust gases passing over it. So let's uh, have a look at what's inside the box. Um, we've got some cable ties here and uh, a couple of other things, some clips and stuff and here we have the actual lambda sensor itself. So this is a probe which goes inside the exhaust before the catalytic converter. Obviously you take that plastic bit off. Um, and then we've got this uh, six pin connection plug which is what you have on the other side. So that's the thing itself. Now if you imagine that sitting in your exhaust with hot exhaust gases passing over it for years uh, it's obviously going to get carbon deposits built up on it. It's um, uh, you know, you know, it's a, it's a it's an item that's prone to failure, so I'm not that kind of alarmed or surprised that it's uh, gone in my car, um, and I've gone ahead and, and got a new one here. So let's get that on. So this is a VW Group 1.8T engine in my Say It Leon Cupra R, and that's the lambda sensor right there at the top of the exhaust. Just be careful that when you work around here, the engines cool down, obviously. Um, it's easier to get at from the top on certain models than others across the VW, Audi, Seat, Skoda range. You can use these 22mm um, lambda sensor sockets to get at that with extensions and things on your ratchet. And if you follow the wire up, right next to it is a uh, connection which is normally housed behind uh, this heat shield uh, material. We had the car up on a lift, so used a bar to break the tension on the lambda sensor and then sprayed it up with some WD-40 penetrating lubricant. And then it was just a matter of reaching in there and 
getting that lambda sensor off from the top of the exhaust. That's a 22 mil. That's the connection. Remember to take that off. And there you go, you've got your lambda sensor off. That's the old lambda sensor, the probe there. Um, and when you finish, just be sure to tidy up that connection and, uh, and the wires and put it behind the heat shield uh, to make sure it doesn't melt from the uh, heat around the back of the engine. And that's your lambda sensor changed. I cleared the code, it hasn't come back. I feel like power is restored, everything's good. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs>